Probably when I was about 12 years old, I came to Ottawa and I just remember being in awe at the kind of the size of the building. I moved to Ottawa to come to Carleton. While I was attending Carleton, um, again, I was looking into the policing career path. So to get some experience on that, I took a security position working on West Block. And this was during the time when they were doing the renovation of the two North Towers on West Block. Um, so I got to know a lot of the trades that were working there and I really got along with the uh, masonry company and when I graduated I knew you know security policing wasn't really for me and I joined the masons that were working on that project. About a hundred years ago it was quite commonplace to have uh, stonemasons uh, pretty well everywhere in a city centre in, uh, in Canada. However, um, what happened with the the, uh, at the start of 1920s or so, there seemed to be a decline. And that was a result of, um, partly because of the First World War, a lot of the younger stonemasons went off the war. And with the war, there's development of new technologies such as uh, metal, glass, um, these, uh, and concrete. These building uh, materials kind of progressed quite a bit. So as a result, um, that was reflected in architecture. And unfortunately, there was a decline in the trade. There seems to now be a renewed interest in, and a return to the trade. And you're seeing that uh, particularly in Ottawa with all the work that's happening on the parliamentary precinct and particularly with West Block. West Block was built in 1859 to 1865 as a departmental building for uh, the growing public surface at the time. And it was an instrumental building during the formative years of our country. The last time the West Block had been renovated was back in the 1960s. The last renovation was more of a small-scale project, um, renovating some of the offices and some of the finishes. We needed swing space for the House of Commons and the building, the West Block, seemed to accommodate that well uh, with the office space that was available and uh, the courtyard space that we were able to fit up into a new chamber. PSPC's role on the project as the owner of the building uh, was to oversee the planning and the design and the construction because there's many different groups that were involved in, in the building. So the management of all these different players was a very critical part of the, uh, of the project. At its peak, more than 200 masons were working on the building every day. Projects like West Block, um, they have done a phenomenal job in rejuvenating uh, not only interest, but actual people following through with uh, joining masonry apprenticeships and it's, it's been really great for the trade. What makes me most proud about having worked on West Block is the fact that um, this is one of the finest examples of um, Gothic Revival architecture in Canada and to have been part of that is uh, just it's pretty special. Working on West Block has been a project of a lifetime. When I was shown a picture of uh, the reconstruction of Centre Block back in the early 1900s after the fire, and there was a photo, uh, a black and white photo, of the team that had worked on the reconstruction of Centre Block. We ended up, as a team, we ended up taking a picture just like the one that they did in front of Centre Block to immortalize what we did here. Now that I have a son, uh, I have brought him here a few times and just being able to point out saying this is something that I've done here, I've done that over there, it's, it's really rewarding. So just being a part of, of history like that and being able to show friends and family is really rewarding. 